right. We're up here uh, near Hebkin Lake outside of West Yellowstone. And we're on a southeast facing slope, about 9,000 feet. And as you can see, I stepped off out of my skis and I sunk right to the ground. And we have less than a meter of snow here, about 80 centimeters. And this area's picked up four to six inches of uh, fairly dense snow over the last couple days. But really, in these really non-wind-loaded areas, we just don't have that cohesive slab to create really unstable conditions. But over here, um, on more wind-loaded slopes, I'm certainly guessing uh, we can trigger an avalanche. TX. So we're here now on the northeast aspect, roughly 9,300 feet. And as you can see, our snowpack here is about a meter deep. As compared to our first snow pit on a southeast aspect, it's about 30 centimeters deeper. And it, as like the southeast aspect, real sugary, non-cohesive snow structure with these big, large grain depth pore facets at the ground. Um, this snow structure doesn't really support um, widespread avalanche activity and we just recently did an ECT got an ECTX on 30 taps and until we get a larger load or a more cohesive slab on top of this snow structure we're not seeing um, unstable results in our stability test however though if we were to find isolated terrain that could be wind loaded on top of this or when we get more of a load in the future we have the perfect snow structure we can sugary for uh, more potential avalanches in the in the near future once we get more of a load on our current snowpack.